Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Stevensville artist Maureen Bannon paints lovely Impressionist landscapes in oils. She says that as a child, artistic pursuits were not encouraged by her parents, and she had to sneak around to draw and paint. But all through her education, including graduate studies and raising six children, she kept up her painting. I really got serious about it. Uh, as the babies were growing up, I would do a lot of work at home. And uh, it's probably been 45, 50 years now that I'm seriously doing it. I studied with a lot of foremost artists in New Jersey, and I'm a Jersey girl, in Jersey and New York. So I did a lot of my training in that area. And then coming to Maryland in 77, um, I had a studio at the Savage Mill in Maryland, a wonderful large studio, affordable at the time, and that my serious painting took off then. I was a classical painter originally in New York and New Jersey, and some of the people I studied with, uh, I was hard edge, and we used dark colors, umbers, and dark greens, and things like that. And I guess my inner spirit just kept coming up and my colors got lighter and lighter as I studied color and learned more about color. And I love daylight. I, don't, I really can't paint at night. I can't do anything at night because I'm a daylight person. So little by little it emerged and it evolved to the state of Impressionism. Um, reading and following people like Henry Twachman and of course Monet and all the Impressionists, I just fell in love with that. And it was pulling something out of my inner spirit. You know, it was pulling something out and I just graduated to that and got better and better. I like to paint um, quiet places, pastoral scenes, um, paintings that have stories. If some of my work in the past and even now, occasionally I'll do a painting that looks very busy. I love grasses. I'm gravitated toward grasses and leaves and flowers. Flowers are extremely passionate and full of life and full of story. Maureen works primarily from commissions, which are inspired by her eastern shore surroundings. I live in a beautiful small cottage on the water, and I never want to leave because you can go out in your pajamas, which I did over the weekend, and if you're inspired right away, I can go to the easel and paint that, even plain air or just from what's in here, at least try to. And I'm a photographer way back when, so I always take a picture. Um, the process for me is I do commissions, and I will use the sketchbook, of course. I will do many studies in pencil, sometimes I put the color on and watercolors and work from that. Uh, I prepare my canvases. I used to um, stretch my own canvas, but the old hand is getting arthritic, so I try to buy good canvases. And um, prepare my canvases, sometimes three or four coats of gesso, and uh, then I begin painting. My first love is oil, but I do know acrylics because one of my teachers years ago in New York was an acrylic master. He, he came from France and he's the one that uh, kind of started working with acrylic when nobody else was. So I've done some acrylic paintings but not a lot and most of my students use acrylic so I've got to kind of know what's going on. And um, then I get into the painting and I do a light uh, spray or a light varnish and then a painting actually, Dana, takes six months to dry. So if someone wants to buy it right away or it sells within three months, I tell them. And often I'll go back and refinish the painting with a top coat or they'll bring it back to me. So I've been doing that for years. Maureen says that as she emerges as an artist, she finds her personal and private space is coming more and more into her art. She really appreciates being an artist and being able to teach this to her students. Some of them have been with her for as long as eight years. She also enjoys getting to know those who buy her work. I love working with my students and working with other painters because they're so fresh and new, but they don't realize yet that they're painting their interior self. They're painting what they love the most. They're painting where they want to go to be quiet. And I'm doing it too.
The audience and the people that buy art are, are just such a treat to the artist. And I like to know who they are and what they've seen in my work. I will ask them that because I'm so curious about what attracts them to a piece that I've done. Maureen is looking for a venue to show paintings of a trip she made to Poland. She also founded an artist group which does critiques, roundtable discussions on creative topics, and takes an annual trip. She will participate in the upcoming Art in the Park Festival in historic Stevensville, Maryland, on October 3rd. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters, eatdrinkbyart.com, for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.